Beautiful Aquarians, it's Kim Enchantress here from Sydney, Australia. Here to do a reading for you and it's what energies you will be taking into 2024 in love, career, home and family. So I just want to wish you a very Merry Christmas with loved ones and an abundant 2024. And just to let you know, I'm very grateful for you coming to the channel, supporting me in 2023. Um, I hope you like the music readings, if that's um, something that you come to the channel for. And I will be continuing those in 2024. We'll get on with your reading here, Aquarius. Now in love, we've got the Eight of Summer, which is the Eight of Cups in the Animal Tarot. And we have the kangaroo. So it's saying you feel that there's more to life than what you're living. Time to move on. You may be moving from a situation that isn't good for you. Or perhaps you're just being drawn to what's well, going to make you happy. Either way, you're in control. So, you know, uh, the Eight of Cups is not really a great omen in a love relationship. It's representing an abandonment or abandonment issues. Now, if you are in a relationship, it can signify either you or your partner walking away from this relationship. It can represent leaving a bad relationship. Now, the advice here for you, Aquarius, is you are being advised to let go of something that no longer serving you. You are being encouraged to take a step back and reevaluate your situation to determine what is best for you, okay? Now, we have the Lenormand woman here, and this is a woman that is very important to you if this is not you here, Aquarius. Okay, so you could be the woman that's leaving, or you're leaving a woman. Now, we'll go on to your career, and it's the Ten of Summer or Ten of Cups. It's a prairie dog and it's saying it's time to express your love and appreciation for family. Be it relatives, chosen family, close friends. Congratulations may be in order in a happy, fulfilling marriage as well as raising happy, balanced children. So the 10 of summer in career matters is saying things are looking good at work. You know, your collaborations with your teammates will be seamless and you're definitely getting along well with everyone in your workplace. You've got the rainbow in the background, so things are really going good. Now, here's some advice for you. The Ten of Cups represents finding the perfect fit in your career, where you feel fulfilled, where you feel valued, where you feel supported. Your work will become a source of happiness and joy and you'll feel like you're making a positive impact there. This card is here to remind you to reassess your career goals and your priorities and to make a plan for achieving them. Okay, now you've got the Lenormand Tower. So this could represent uh, an independent business. It can represent that you're a CEO in a company, you work for government. But it also is symbolising yourself. It shows a lack of drive or encouragement within your career. And that could be because of a separation in your love life. Now, you may be going through a moment within your sector or your company where you no longer feel motivated to continue. And that's um, understandable here, Aquarius. And we'll go on to your home and family. And you've got the release card. Now, this is number 13. It is the death card in tarot. It's the peacock. Time to release the past and move on to something new. This ending is the first step on the way to a happier future. Now, it may not seem like that to you at first, but however, it means that you are facing a transformation with the butterfly, uh, you know, in your home life. What transformation will it be? Is it going to be you finding a new home soon and a fresh lease of life somewhere brand new or are you feeling stuck right now? Okay, like the kangaroo the Eight of Cups here, moving on because things don't seem like they're good enough. So, you know, you may be feeling stuck and this card is telling you that you will get a new start soon. Now, the advice here, death teaches you to let go of outworn and outgrown ways of life, to move forward. And this is a perfect card to break a bad habit or a pattern or 
or a behavior. You gotta see this as a time to cut out excess and let go of what is unnecessary for your life. Just purge the old belongings, memories and baggage that are getting in your way. This is spirit coming in, something pure. Spirit has something better for you. Now we have the Lenormand Crossroads, number 22. And, you know, there could be conflict between safety and traditional living grants. It could be problems with the home and wanting to be free to do things in your own way. But, you know, it's all about alternatives to traditions and habits. And this is what you've got to break. Okay, um, optional rules. You've got plan B and plan C. You've got decisions concerning your home and family life. Family support in the time of the um, indecision. So you're a bit hesitant here. So, you know, you definitely, there's a separation from a woman and you are facing a decision or a woman's facing this decision. There is a separation or a period of isolation here for you guys. Now, 2024 is full of possibilities for you. You know, um, getting property is bright. Social activities will brighten your life this year in 2024. And family relationships will be cordial. So they'll be, uh, you know, very warm towards you this year. Aquarius. So I'm sending lots of love your way. Um, wishing you a very, very Merry Christmas and uh, a very abundant 2024. Love to you all. Bye for now.